Inventors, the architects of tomorrow, often risk their lives in the pursuit of progress. And for some, their own inventions became their undoing. As we turn the pages of history, we encounter tales steeped in irony, where the very fruits of innovation have turned bitter, claiming the lives of their creators. These are the stories of inventors who dared to tread where others feared, who risked it all in the name of progress and discovery. They toiled, they dreamed, and they created, but tragically, they also fell victim to their own brain children. The irony is stark and poignant, a testament to the inherent risk in the field of invention. As we embark on this journey, let's remember that innovation is a double-edged sword capable of both immense good and unintended harm. So, step into the shadows of history with us, as we delve into the tales of ten inventors who fell victim to their own ingenuity. Our first inventor, Franz Reichelt, believed he could fly. Born in the late 19th century, Reichelt was a tailor by trade, but harbored a fascination for aviation. He was particularly intrigued by the idea of creating a suit that could transform into a parachute, enabling the wearer to descend safely from great heights. Reichelt dedicated years of his life to the development of this parachute suit, driven by a vision of making flight accessible to all. In 1912, confident in his invention, Reichelt decided to demonstrate its effectiveness from none other than the Eiffel Tower itself. Despite concerns from onlookers and fellow inventors, Reichelt was undeterred. Dressed in his parachute suit, he took a leap from the iconic structure. Tragically, the suit failed to deploy as intended, leading to Reichelt's fatal fall. Reichelt's leap of faith ultimately led to his downfall. His story serves as a poignant reminder of the risks inherent in the pursuit of innovation. Marie Curie, a pioneer in radioactivity, unknowingly sealed her fate. This brilliant physicist and chemist, born in Poland and naturalized in France, was the first woman to win the Nobel Prize and the only person to win it in two different scientific fields, physics and chemistry. Her groundbreaking work on radioactivity, a term she herself coined, revolutionized the world of science. However, the very element she discovered, radium, became her undoing. Marie Curie spent countless hours in her laboratory, handling radioactive materials without any protective gear. This prolonged exposure to radiation led to her developing aplastic anemia, a serious condition where the body stops producing enough new blood cells. Despite her deteriorating health, she remained dedicated to her research until the end. In July of 1934, this relentless scientist succumbed to her illness. Curie's relentless pursuit of knowledge came at a grave cost. A shining beacon in the field of science, she left behind a legacy that continues to inspire, even as it serves as a stark reminder of the risks of unchecked innovation. Thomas Midgley Jr., the man who solved one problem but created another. Midgley, a mechanical engineer and chemist, was the mastermind behind the invention of leaded gasoline and chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs. His intention was noble, to eliminate engine knock and improve refrigeration. However, these inventions came with a heavy price. Leaded gasoline led to widespread lead pollution, and CFCs, well, they were the main culprits in the depletion of our precious ozone layer. But the twist of fate didn't end there. In his later years, Midgley contracted polio, leaving him severely disabled. Undeterred, he designed an intricate system of ropes and pulleys to help him move around. It was this very device, born from his inventive mind, that led to his tragic end. One day, Midgley became entangled in his own invention, leading to an unfortunate and ironic death by strangulation. Midgley's inventions improved lives, but they also led to his untimely end. Sheila, a chemist with a deadly palate. Carl Wilhelm Scheele, a brilliant yet unsung hero of the chemical world, was known for his myriad discoveries. His passion for unveiling the mysteries of nature led him to unearth several chemical elements. However, his insatiable curiosity also brought him face to face with death. Scheele's life was a testament to the paradox of progress and peril. His most notable yet lethal invention was Scheele's green, a vibrant paint that breathed life into canvases but exhaled the toxic fumes of arsenic. Sheila, in his pursuit of color, overlooked the deadly shadow it cast. Day after day, he toiled amidst his lethal concoctions, oblivious to the creeping danger. His body gradually succumbed to the constant exposure to these toxic substances, 
paying the ultimate price for his relentless pursuit of knowledge. In the end, Sheila's tale is a stark reminder of the thin line between discovery and disaster. Sheila's colorful creations proved to be a fatal fascination. Horace Lawson Hunley, a man drowned by his ambition. A tale of innovation, bravery and tragedy, Hunley's story is one for the ages. A passionate pioneer in the world of maritime engineering, Hunley's dream was to revolutionize naval warfare. His brainchild? The first fully submersible combat vessel, a submarine. A marvel of its time, it was a deadly weapon that could stealthily navigate the underwater realm. But with great innovation comes great risk. During an ambitious test run, the submarine, affectionately known as the Hunley, took a plunge it would never resurface from. The vessel sank, taking its creator along with it. Hunley and his crew found themselves trapped within the iron beast they had so proudly built. Their final moments were spent in the belly of their own invention, a grim irony not lost on history. Hunley's underwater endeavor plunged him into a watery grave. His name lives on, a testament to the perilous path of invention and the ultimate price of progress. Karol Suchek, a daredevil who rolled the dice one too many times. Introducing a man whose audacity was as vast as his imagination. Suchek was not just an inventor, he was a thrill seeker, a man who danced on the edge of danger with his invention, a shock absorbent barrel engineered for those heart-stopping stunts that leave spectators breathless. This was no mere container. Suchek's barrel was a marvel of design, a testament to human ingenuity. Its purpose was to protect its occupant from the brutal forces of impact, a cocoon against the harsh reality of physics. But like Icarus flying too close to the sun, Suchek's courage led him to a fateful decision. In a test drop from the towering heights of the Houston Astrodome, Suchek sealed himself within his creation, but the fall was not kind. The barrel, his safety net, ended up being his executioner. For Suchek, the thrill of invention proved to be a fatal attraction. Henry Smolinski, a man who dreamed of flying cars. In the early 70s, this bold inventor sought to revolutionize travel by fusing a Ford Pinto with the wings of a Cessna Skymaster, creating what he envisioned as the first commercially viable flying car. Smolinski, brimming with ambition, saw a future where the open road and the boundless sky would be one and the same. His creation was named the Ave Misa, a machine that dared to defy traditional modes of transportation. However, this dream of flight was not without its dangers. During a test flight in September of 1973, a wing strut detached from the vehicle, leading to an uncontrollable descent. The Ave Misa crashed, and with it, the dreams of its creator. Smolinski, along with his pilot, perished in the wreckage. The promise of a flying car, his life's work, had become his demise. Smolinski's fiery dream of flight became his tragic end. William Bullock, a man crushed by his own creation. Born in the early 19th century, Bullock was a man of innovation, a man who sought to revolutionize the world of printing. His invention, the rotary printing press, was a marvel of the age a machine designed to print faster and more efficiently than ever before. Bullock's press was a thing of wonder, using cylinders to rapidly print on both sides of a page. It was a leap forward in the publishing industry, a machine that would change the way we disseminate information forever. But for all its brilliance, the press held a dark side. In a twist of fate, Bullock was installing one of his presses when he was caught in the machinery. The resulting injury became gangrenous, leading to his untimely death a grim reminder of the dangers that can lurk in the shadows of progress. Bullock's press revolutionized printing, but it also led to his demise. Perillos of Athens, a man consumed by his own monstrosity. The irony of his tale is as chilling as it is dramatic. A bronze worker by profession, Perillos designed what would be known as the Brazen Bull, a device so sinister it was intended to convert the screams of the tortured into the sounds of a bellowing bull. But as fate would have it, the first demonstration of this tormenting contraption was also its last for Perillos. The tyrant Phalaris, to whom it was presented, decided to test its efficacy not on a condemned criminal, but on its very creator. In an unfortunate twist of his own design, Perillos was forced into the metal beast, succumbing to the very horrors he had intended for others. His screams echoed through the streets of Athens, a chilling reminder of the tragic intersection of innovation and hubris. Perillos's gruesome invention came back to haunt him, 
In the realm of invention, the line between genius and tragedy is often thin. As we reflect on the tales of these 10 inventors, we find a common thread of risk and sacrifice woven into their narratives. Each story, a testament to the relentless pursuit of progress and the human spirit's unyielding resilience. Each demise, a stark reminder of innovation's potential price. We journeyed through the irony of innovation where brilliance bore the seed of its own destruction. We witnessed the fatal flight, the deadly dose, and the explosive experiment, each a poignant testament to the price paid for pushing boundaries. We delved into the poisonous paint, the lethal locomotive, the treacherous test, the fatal flame, and the dangerous dive, each narrative echoing a similar melody of sacrifice for the sake of advancement. Finally, in the concluding chronicle, we learned that the path to progress is fraught with peril but also rich in lessons. Remember the best things in life are free, like subscribing to this channel. This would really help me as a new content creator. Either way, take care and stay blessed.